So I was about six years old when the Pokemon craze hit in America, and it hit me pretty dang hard, as I'm sure it did for a fair number of people out there. I collected cards for the better part of a decade. I still have the majority of my collection in three very poorly decorated binders of roughly that size and shape. Um, but I don't think I've paid for any cards in about a decade now. I still get some packs for Christmas, and even though I don't actually know what I'm opening, um, this, whatever, um, even though I don't actually know what I'm opening, there's still a sense of excitement that comes with the concept of a mystery pack and those chaser cards, those, those rare ones that you're still looking for. Um, and so a few months ago, I decided to start watching some videos mainly from Open Boosters and Primetime Pokemon to kind of uh, kind of the stifle that urge to go out and actually buy packs myself, but to live vicariously through them. And it didn't work because you can only watch so many videos of someone doing that before you just have to get your hands on your own. And so I maybe made a couple of poor decisions uh, around one in the morning on eBay, and I purchased a couple of items. I purchased a booster box, but because Pokemon cards are running at like five bucks a pack, it's, you know, like a hundred and something for a box of magic cards for the most part. I don't even know what Yu-Gi-Oh is at. Those are all really expensive. Um, but there were a lot of card games that came out in that same sort of window of the late 90s, early 2000s that didn't really take off. There was uh, Lord of the Rings, um, Digimon, uh, Spongebob, Neopets. Uh, there was just a whole ton of those card games that nobody really got into to the same degree as those other franchises. And so they just kind of went away. And now you can pick up some of those cards pretty cheap. So I spent 12 bucks on eBay and I bought this. It is a booster box of the Metabots card game, which had one starter deck and one booster series. Uh, the series contains 69 cards of which 50 are common, 10 are rare and nine are what's called meta rare. And I don't actually know what that means. That being said, I don't really know what the franchise is either. Apparently, it is still a thing in Japan. Uh, the most recent release for this franchise was a video game called Metabots Girls Mission in March 2016 for the 3DS. To put this into perspective, the last release in America of anything Metabots was Metabots Infinity for the GameCube in 2003. So this did not have much staying power now it did offer a couple of different um a couple of different spin-off items uh like these figures that you could take apart and kind of construct your own figure so i don't actually own any of the original characters but i do have these little custom made guys that i really thought i was the coolest cat around when i designed um, but now they're just collecting dust on my shelf. So we're going to throw those over there. Um, apparently somewhere along the line, I actually did get some of these cards because I found in this little, I don't actually know what this guy is, um, but I've had this box forever. Um, I actually found that I have one of these meta rare cards. This is Gun King. And as you can see, it's nice and shiny. And so... I bought a box of these and I didn't actually realize when I bought it that I bought two boxes of them. So now I have 72 packs of Metabots cards, each containing, I believe, five cards. So I'm going to go ahead and open one of these. I'm going to save the other one for later because that's just so exciting. I'm sure you're all looking forward to that because I know there are plenty of Metabots collectors out there that are really gung-ho about this franchise even 15 years after it came out in America. So we're going to go ahead and open this, and this will be the first time I've ever done any sort of a booster box opening or pack opening or anything, so we're just going to kind of see how it goes. 
I actually, um, around the same time that I ordered this, I also may have ordered a few other discontinued franchises that I will hopefully be opening in subsequent videos. So, looks like you open this somehow. Um, there we go. You kind of flip that up to get your little, get your little. You know what? That's not important. Um, I don't need to display this in a Target. I do, however, need to open these. So, they were really really excellent with their uh, packaging here. These are all the exact same cover art. Each one of these contains all of five cards. So we're just going to start opening these and see what happens. Like I said, there's 69 cards to collect. Uh, according to the back of this box, there is approximately a 1 in 3 chance of a rare card and a 1 in 9 chance of a meta rare. So by those statistics, I should be expecting around four of the meta rares in this box. Hopefully none of them are Gun King because I already have that and I would be certainly traumatized if I ended up with doubles of anything here. It would totally throw off the value of these. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going insane. I have purchased 72 packs of Metabots cards. So, we're going to just open this up and take a look at them and then repeat 35 more times. Now there's, as far as I know, there's no fancy, like, rearrange them so that the rarest card's on the, on the back, so save the excitement for last. We're just going to go ahead and take a look at these. And the first card is upside down, and it is Basart, which is a this. Um, it does that. It has some numbers attached to it. It is a G and B type, which probably means something to somebody. We have Anemone, which, again, does things, I'm sure. We have Samantha, which, according to my notes here, is a meta fighter. That's the term for Pokemon trainer, effectively, in this franchise. We have Ambiguous 2, and we have, ooh, that's a good start right there. That is Dr. Aki. That is one of the nine meta rares, so I'm already sitting at two of these having opened one pack, which statistically is really good. So we're going to go ahead and set that over there. going to set the commons. I'm going to bump against that microphone. I'm going to go ahead and move that. We're going to set the commons in one stack. The... Rares in another, and open up another pack here. Da -da -da. Like the first card is Food Witch, which says choose one of your opponent's active metabots and turn it face down. Not allowed in the neutral field. So what I've learned from this card is that there is face up and face down effects, and that there is a neutral field. So this is Korean. We have Hachiro and Kirara, which looks like Kiara, and then they uh, decide to add in another, another R there. We have Genius, which I believe I am. And we have Stole Boat. St stole Boat. You don't look like a boat nor do you appear to be any sort of criminal accused of stealing anything. You know, I was confused as to how such a thin box was going to have 36 packs, but upon knocking over Baby Groot and seeing how few cards there are in here and how flimsy and terrible they are, I understand now. So we're looking at Sloan. I remember that in the one booster pack that I opened as a child, I had that one. We have Jackal. We have Mabler. We have Rintaro. And we have Shrimp Lips. That's hot. That, that is hot. Um, if any of you are interested in that sort of thing, um, I'm going to set up a separate channel for that content. Uh, this is going to be family friendly. I believe I had him too as a child, which surely explains 
what I am now. <sighs> At least these open cleanly. That's nice. Uh, okay. So they didn't really pay any attention when they were packaging any of these. So we're going to go ahead and uh, flip these guys. And we have March or Marchy. Probably March. We have Stay Dryad. We got Not Touch, which should be uh, discussed with all of your children at one point or another so that they understand the difference between Good Touch and Bad Touch and Not Touch. Child Sitter. So those guys go together. And what do you know? A Gun King. Uh, that is still a meta rare, so that's still pretty exciting, as you can tell by the change in intonation in my voice. I'm quite thrilled to be getting that because I've waited a long, long time. All right. So, we got Black Rover. We got Potato Insect. That's, that's, that's pretty exciting. We got Samilodon. Victor. And we have Metasan. I don't feel like I've seen any real duplicates at this point, which is impressive considering there are fewer than 70 cards in the entire series. But that also makes me wonder if they just printed out uh, 1 through 69 and repeated, and I'm going to end up with packs that all look exactly the same. So we got Digul, which is part zombie and part uh, whatever the dig part comes from. We got one wheel. We got Sloan again, which throws a wrench into my theory, for better or for worse. We got Man Mammoth. Feel free to use that anytime that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give that one away. Go ahead and you, you can name yourself that if you want. Koji with the very attractive two-dimensional haircut. All right. My, uh, my garbage man's going to be a little confused as to what these relics of... 20 whatever are doing in the trash but uh that's not my problem because we have Carrara again we got nervous bird don't be nervous bird we got soft amoeba we got Sloan again and we got hairy insect that, I believe, is another one of these meta rare guys? Or is this just a... No, this is a standard rare. And you can tell that somehow. I don't actually know how you tell because they both use the same style of holographic material and they both use the gold leafing on the names. I think it was... A fairly arbitrary decision on their part. But we're going to go with it. So, statistically, we should be getting a grand total of, what, 12, 12 rare cards? We're currently at 1, 2, 3. So we're not doing too bad, I don't think. I haven't actually kept track of 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven. This is our eighth pack. So we're almost a quarter of the way there. We got Potato Insect. Sumiliodon. Sumiliodon. Some, some Sumiliodon. Some something. We got Rakusho. We got Honey Force. And we have Topersia, which... I don't remember the other ones having... No, I guess they do all have two abilities. I thought this was an exciting card, but it is not. As are all of these. These are all not exciting cards. But boy, do I feel special right now. I feel something burning in me right now. 
Okay. Got Man Mammoth again. My Man Mammoth is getting very excited about the prospect of some more rare cards here. We got Koji. We got March. We got Stay Dryad. I get that now. That's a really, really bad joke. We got Clow. And we got nothing else because this is a five card pack. with Anna and Elsa judging me very disapprovingly in the background. We're gonna open up another one. We got Not Touch. We got Child Sitter. We got Food Witch. We got Hachiro. Ooh, and we have Water Beat. That is, according to my list, one of the standard rares. So we're gonna put that in a separate little pile along with Harry Insect. And that puts us at four rare cards in this box. And this is me trying really hard to sound semi-professional here about the pack opening experience and try and give you actual information as to what's going on. Thankfully, it looks like all of the rare cards are coming into the back of the stack, so I don't have to do any reorganization. Not that I would anyways, because how are you going to actually know if these are exciting? <laughs> Uh, we got Samantha, we got Ambiguous 2, still hoping for that Ambiguous 1, which I don't actually know if that's a thing or not. We got Sloan again, I think he has a Digivice on his arm, they just don't want to call it that, but that's what that looks like to me, it's a little fuzzy, but we got Jackal, and we got Mabler. I guess I should go for Beyblades next, huh? Because we really need to dig into those outdated, supposedly technologically exciting franchises from Japan. We got Karara. We got Samantha. We got Ambiguous 2. Still no Ambiguous 1. We got Sloan. And we got Jackal. These are the sorts of packs I was expecting out of this. This is par for the course now. All right. Um, all right. We're going to, I assume that means that that's the rare card. So we're just going to go ahead and go like this. And we got Child Sitter. We got Food Witch. We got Hachiro. Kirara. And we have Bastroyer, which is a fish. Get it? Bass. Destroyer. Hey, it's a meta rare. All right. So we got three of those so far, and the statistics say that we should theoretically get about four of those in a booster box. So I feel like this is not the worst decision in the world, possibly the second or third, but not the worst. All right. So we got Mabler. We got Earth Brachio. That's a new one, I think. We got War Bandit. That is, where are my figures? That's the bottom half of this figure, the top half being Meta B himself, which is a little cover art here. Um, the only reason I remember that name is because I did a little bit of research on Wikipedia before starting this video. We got High Giraffe. All right. And we got Clow. Better Clow than Sloan. We have we have enough Sloan. We're almost halfway through. So if any of you are still watching, I appreciate that greatly. Doll Dolphin. Frill Free. Now we're getting some new ones. That's cool. Spike. With a Y. <laughs> Shrimp lips. <laughs> and we got not touch. So we're just gonna just gonna 
bundle those together. And maybe teach me something. Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Upper Deck for bringing this stateside and then condemn them for their horrible business decisions. We got Erica. We got Victor. We got Medisan. We got Kirara. Oh, 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 I don't know why it's upside down. But we got Metaplute, which is a standard rare. That's still pretty exciting. Honestly, I am actually getting more excited about the rares. I was not expecting to care that much, but now that I see more of the names getting crossed off my little list here, uh, the feeling of excitement that I would get from opening Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh card packs, it's not quite matched, but it, it's approaching that, and I appreciate that, and I feel like the second booster box won't be a horrible uh, waste of my time now. We got Honey Force. We got Topersia. We got Digul. One Wheel. And Tundle. I think that's a new one, too. New being the relative term. Alright. And this is the last pack in that half of the box. I could stop now. But as they say, on the streets, can't stop won't stop. We're just going to tear on through this entire box. We got Nervous Bird. We got Soft Amoeba. We got Dr. Meta Evil. Ooh, he must be like a Dr. Robotnik or whatever from, uh, from Sonic. We got I I Z I Easiest to. I, easiest. Easiest? Maybe? He's got pretty low numbers. And we have Electra. Alright. We are halfway through the box. Got another 18 packs there. And I think I am actually going to pause the video here and make a second one because we're already at the 23 minute mark and I applaud you for actually taking the time to watch this. Uh, just a quick recap so far. We have three of the meta rares. We have Bastroyer, Gun King, and Dr. Aki. We are still missing uh, a total of six meta rares, one of which being a meta bot and the other five being meta fighters. And of the standard rares, we have Meta Plute, Waterbeat, and Hairy Insect. There are 10 total rares, of which I believe all are metabots. So we got another 7 of those to find over the course of 18 packs, plus accidentally the entire second box. So thank you for watching, and tune in for the second part of this, which I will probably upload immediately afterwards. Uh, thanks!